everyone. I'm Mary Althaus. Today we're ready for the eighth installment of our skit about Jan. I think today's story will give you some idea of how the Japanese live in the summer. ごめんください。ヤンです。おお、ヤンさん。さあ、どうぞお飲みなさい。これ結構です。これお土産です。おい、これはどうもありがとうございます。あ、ザブトンどうぞ。あ、ありがとうございます。毎日暑いですな。そ
。冷たいビールは。はいはい、ありますよ。お。わあ、すごいね。うん。お。函館の人が。バルクしたぜ、函館か。あるばる。やあさん、お風呂ぬるくありませんか。いえ、ぬるくありません。ちょうどいいです。そうですか。では、ごゆっくりどうぞ。はい、ありがとうございます。思い出すたび会いたくてとても我慢がいい。Did you understand what that was about? Our story today began with Yan taking some souvenirs he'd gotten in Takayama to the Suzuki's, from whom he rents his room. Takayama is a small mountain village, almost exactly in the center of Japan. But although it's a small place, Takayama is famous for the wood carving, which has thrived there since old times. After that, Yan went to Akihabara, a famous district in Tokyo where there are countless electrical appliance shops, and where electrical goods can be bought at big discounts. After getting what he wanted very cheaply. Yan took a bath at the Kato's house, and we saw him there in the tub singing Japanese songs in high spirits. Now let's get right into our lesson for today. Do you remember this scene from the skit? いらっしゃい。お邪魔しています。麦茶をどうぞ。ありがとうございます。ああ冷たい。美味しいですね。ああ冷たい。美味しいですね。Yan was drinking mugi cha, barley tea, a popular thirst quencher which the Japanese seem to consume almost by the gallon in the summertime. It is served chilled and is very refreshing. Now, what did Yan say after drinking it? Watch once more. いらっしゃい。お邪魔しています。麦茶をどうぞ。ありがとうございます。ああ、冷たい。美味しいですね。<laughs> Did you notice that what he said contains two separate sentences? Ah, it's hot. Delicious. Ah, it's hot. Delicious. The first words that passed his lips after taking a sip were, "Ah, it's cold." Then, turning to Mrs. Suzuki, who had given him the drink, he said. It's delicious. Ah, it's hot. Delicious. As you've probably realized, both "tsumetai" and "oishi" are adjectives. Do you remember our practicing adjectives before? Though it was many lessons back, I admit. This is a big towel. When we practiced adjectives before, each one was followed by a noun. We had, for example, a big towel and a small towel, but the adjectives Jan used were in a slightly different pattern. Watch this. お待ちどうさまでした。